Seeking English, SAT Workbook, page 319, problem one. This is uh, kind of a short problem, so I might stretch it out a little bit at the end just to give you something extra. Uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, so they, they want is x over y. They want you to solve for x over y. The problem is you've got an x over y here, and then you've got this extra y here. Oh no, what am I going to do? Don't worry. Uh, you, you can't easily split denominators, but you can split numerators. You put each of these com these additive components of the numerator over its own version of the denominator. That's it. Okay. So it doesn't matter what 3y is. Uh, you just know 3 over 3y three over 3y three is always equal to 1. Okay? 1. 8x plus 3y plus 1. You can take the 1 over here. Right? From there, you convert the 1 to 4 over 4. Yes. 5 over 4 minus 4 over 4 equals 1 over 4. Okay. From there, uh, it's a, a property of factors uh, that you can move them diagonally in a fraction like this, as long as there's no addition. You see, this is just two things multiplied by each other, two other things multiplied by each other. And these are, you can't see the multiplication, but I mean, it's there. So <clears throat> you can do, just move the 3 diagonally up here, move the 8 diagonally down there, and they go away. You have the x over y that you were solving for. Okay. What's it going to be? Okay. So 32 and 3. 3 over 32. Okay. Um, the, the moving things diagonally, if it's not obvious to you, it's going to become obvious to you by the time you finish these videos and or finish the book. Uh, in the meantime, I did want to give you something extra. So I want you to suppose a similar problem where they want you to solve for x over y. Again, they want to solve for x over y. But in this case, you have uh, three y's on top, and you have 8x. Plus 3y equals 4 over 5. Okay? It's the same problem, but it, it just looks different. The, re the reason I'm doing this is because we just saw the other one. It should be really obvious what to do here. But if we had not just done that previous one, it might be less obvious. So hopefully when you see something that's similar for the first time, not having just done an almost identical problem, uh, you can figure it out. And say, oh, I can't, I can't split the denominator. No, you cannot, you cannot split the denominator. But there's nothing to prevent you from flipping the whole problem. Then, if this becomes a numerator and this becomes a numerator, you can, you can split it like I did before. Okay, so uh, if you see a similar problem to this, try to remember this video. What happens if I flip it? If I flip it, can I then split it? Of course you can. I'm not even going to show you. Just visualize. Next problem. 